Hello, my name is Annie and I have motor neurons disease. My name is Mary Williams and I have been using the voice banking system. My name's Mike, uh, I am age 53, live in Poole and uh, I was diagnosed with motor neuron disease in February of last year. My name is Holger Schubkowski, I'm a professor of bioarchaeology at Bournemouth University. And I have a confirmed diagnosis since early 2015. People are referred through to us at the point of diagnosis. As soon as they're diagnosed, if they want to meet us, if they want to participate in the project, we go out. We will explain to them how it all works, and if they want to participate, we lend them laptops, headsets, show them how to do it, and then they can record their voices. And over a period of perhaps a few weeks, if they're doing it a bit at a time, at the end of it, they've got a voice that we can then use. Do you know if they are coming to see me? And people are very positive about that because it's not so scary to consider the loss of your voice when you haven't lost it. When you've still got it and to be able to feel that you can preserve it and with all the other losses that might be coming online with MND and there are a lot of losses, this is something that you can preserve and you can still use in the future. It was the night before my 50th birthday. A friend was round and we were having a glass of wine. I remember thinking, wait a minute, I have only had half a glass. Why am I stumbling over my words? Unfortunately, with uh, MND, it's a degenerative condition. At the moment, touch word, my voice hasn't been affected, but it's likely it will be affected in the future. So I wanted to really keep my independence and be able to speak to my, uh, my family and friends in my own voice for as long as possible. You are asked to repeat in a certain modality uh, short sentences or phrases taken from three different books that are supposed to cover um, the most comprehensive range of day-to-day -day words or word snippets that can eventually be recombined to generate something that allows you to communicate as effectively as possible. As Marie recorded more and more of the sentences, your voice keeps changing and it updates, so your voice gets to sound more and more like you over time. Can I have a cup of tea, please? At first, my husband wasn't keen on my computerized voice. He wasn't totally convinced it sounded like me. I could still speak a little, and so he preferred to hear my actual voice. I sounded permanently half cut, but he and my son were still able to understand me. But now I have lost my speech completely. My husband really appreciates just how incredible this process is as my MND progresses. Both he and my son find it a great comfort to still be able to hear my voice, which incidentally, they now think sound just like me. It's nice for Marie to know that she's still going to be able to speak um, when she's completely lost her voice. Her voice is going quite rapidly now because her lungs are starting to fail, so she's running out of air to, to speak. Um, but she'll be able to use the voice banking system. Have you heard from Suzanne and Bob recently? What have they been up to? My sister-in-law, I've heard of it and said it's wonderful because they wanted to hear my voice, not a computer. If you think about Stephen Hawking, he was very computerized uh, a voice. What is this? Has my accent and voice. So it's really good. I'm unfortunately I'm now in a wheelchair. Um, my arms I can't use my arms very well. My 
I've lost quite a lot of movement in my hands and it's likely that will progress to my voice as well. So by doing the voice banking, it gives you one bit of area of your life that you can really control. And I think that's probably one of the most frustrating things for people like me that have got MND. It takes away a lot of your control. I call my turtle Bob. I call my turtle Bob. So I think the voice banking will help with that and it will really enable me and my family to still communicate in as normal a way as possible for as long as possible. At the moment, the East Dorset New Forest branch of the Motor Neurone Disease Association, they bought the equipment for us that we're still using and they are backfilling our time. As a committee, we've been only too happy to fund it because we, we all know how important it would have been in our own families because most people have had people who've died from motor neuron. And therefore, to have something where that person's voice is there forever is very special, but I think it's also very, very important to the person who has the disease, whichever disease that is. I would urge anyone with a mental or any sort of speech issues to bank their voice and do it as soon as possible. If I had left mine any longer, it would have been too late. The MN Ethereum and Facebook pages are full of people advising voice banking and full of regret that they had not done in time themselves. If you still have full speech, do it now you will find it easy. Even if you do not ever need to use your banked voice, at least you have it demortalised for your loved ones. Well, for me personally, it is really that. It is a backup. Um, I may not even um, um, have to use it, um, but it is very um, reassuring to know that if my condition can uh, deteriorates to a state where speaking becomes more difficult than it should be, that I have a possibility of using something that can um, still project my voice and make myself heard in a very personal um, and identical way. It's a wonderful system. I think it's tremendous. I think the NHS should roll it out nationally. Um, I know it's only available in two or three counties at the moment. I think it's very limited at the moment. Um, and we're very fortunate uh, that Dorset is one of the counties, so we're very lucky to have been able to take part in the trials. All I can say is that for me it's been a huge benefit. It gives you focus, gives you a bit of control at a time when you feel you've got a great deal of control in your life. Um, so I would definitely recommend it. <laughs>